Hello fellow tufters, I'm Jenny and today we're having a look at how the scissors mechanism on the AK-1 cut pad tufting machine works. Let's have a look at how the mechanism actually works so you can understand how the parts get into each other and how it's actually doing things. That will help you a lot with understanding how to adjust things if you have a problem with the scissors. So as you can see, I removed this top part of the tufting machine. It's the sliding block of the top two rails with the needle on it. And I did so, so we can have a better look at the inside of the tufting machine and actually see what the scissors are doing. We have the scissors here. We have the scissors closing block here that's adjusted on this side here and it's that black block within here. And we have the scissor opener here that's this bent metal part on top of the scissor. When we are tufting, you can see the scissors are now open and when we are tufting this part of the scissor is moving into the scissors closing block and getting closed by it. Yes, like that. And then you keep, the machine keeps on running and is moving back and the scissor opener here, the, metal, the bent metal part, is pushing that part open again. And the scissors and the scissors are opening up now. So we're open again, we go to the front. I slightly twist the machine so you can see it from a different angle. And it's getting closed and opened. So this is how this actually works within the machine and I guess this is going to help you understand or fix a problem quicker if a problem occurs. So let's have a look at the mechanisms. The scissors closing block is that black block that is sitting in here and is actually pushing in that part of the scissors when they move forward. I do that. As you can see, the scissors now closed, they're moving forward and the block is basically pushing the scissors together. Let me, let's have a look at it again, maybe like this. You can see the block here and there is a slight angle to it on this end of the block. And when the scissors are moving into it, they're closing. The opposite of that is happening here in the back with the scissors opener. That part of the scissors is moving into that bent metal part and this is pushing the scissors open. So the scissors are moving back, touching the metal part, the scissors opener now, and getting pushed open by it. I show you this again in a different angle. So the scissors are moving back, running into the scissors opener and getting opened by the bent part of it. Coming back and getting pushed open here. And you can see the scissors are opening here. So I hope this helped you understand how the scissors mechanism as a full thing actually works. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to leave us a comment below. If you like the video, you maybe want to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel to stay up to date on everything tufting related. Bye.